In June, the Wilson Workforce and Rehabilitation Center offered a dozen DARS consumers with disabilities the opportunity to participate in a manufacturing academy. The five-day program, which focuses on manufacturing, helps consumers gain experience and job skills and prepares interested participants for the 20-week training program. A bottling and labeling system was developed during the class for a solar-powered water purification unit built by the students and instructor. Through my whole life, I have tried to learn and learn at school, but it's like it wouldn't go in. But here, they take time with you. If you don't understand, then they will take time out and they'll talk to you by yourself or anything. So I think this place is a very good place for people with disabilities. I think a whole lot of people benefited from this, not only due to teamwork, organization. It's very, very important for us to stay organized when we're doing a large project like this. It's very, very supportive. You have to learn that you have to work with someone else. You are a part of a jigsaw puzzle. You have to not only know where your piece fits, but you have to learn to work with everybody else's puzzle pieces in order to make a very pretty picture. This would be something I'll be very interested in taking. After the Academy, business development managers, members of the Virginia Manufacturers Association, and staff from DARS and WWRC attended a tour of the classroom where the students demonstrated their skills and discussed the process with attendees. WWRC Director Rick Sizemore believes this program can help consumers interested in the industry obtain the necessary skills and qualifications for these positions. The whole point of this Academy is to help people really get to uh, a new understanding of what it is and explore their interest in it as a possible career. One of the unique aspects of this academy is that uh, we're learning even more about our teaching methods and we're perfecting our teaching methods, introducing these manufacturing uh, principles to these youthful populations so that we can share our strategies for how to teach these skills to individuals with disabilities to ensure that the candidates come out of this with the skills they need and then we'll be sharing those with agency partners all across the state so they can be replicated here. The Virginia Manufacturers Association believes that within the next decade, more than 60,000 manufacturing jobs will be available. After completion of the 20-week program, consumers can test for the Manufacturing Technician 1 certification that is recognized nationally and shows employers that these prospective employees have the required knowledge and skills. The needs in manufacturing right now are really focused on a certain skill set. Particularly, there's a big gap in openings in entry-level production occupations. We know that that's where there's a need for employees, so that's where these credentials really fit in well. Why they're so important is, and actually industry created the credentials. They're nationally recognized now, they're portable, they're stackable. They really are someone's um, ability to get into a manufacturing facility. Once they get the MT1 or MS credentials, they have those baseline skills across a 12 skill area that were identified by manufacturers that said we really need people in the 21st century to stay globally competitive. These are the skills they need. Before, when manufacturers were hiring people that didn't have a credential that would validate that they passed an assessment that they had certain skills, they were getting a mix of people and using education as kind of that proxy for skill validation. And they were having to do some remediation or maybe not finding people with the right skills they thought they had. So that's why industry credentials are so important. And then again, the, the MS and the MT1 are so important is because that is where the jobs are. And there's a need for these skills to keep manufacturing alive in Virginia and across the United States. I'm definitely interested in doing it because if you, wherever you live, then you'll have the papers to prove that you know what you're doing and it's going to make them want you more. They're going to be like, hey, you know what you're doing. We think we might want you. So <laughs> I love being hands-on. That's the best thing in the world for me. And when it's something you're good at, you kind of want to stick with it. The five-day manufacturing academy at WWRC was among six Dream It, Do It Virginia manufacturing technology career academies held across Virginia in 2016. In collaboration with local workforce boards, the academies are part of the Commonwealth's efforts to help the industry close the skills gaps and create a pipeline of young adults interested in working in advanced manufacturing fields.